Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Sardonic Hog. Thanks for the great suggestion. You asked, how is miraging steel made and what makes it special? If you've ever been curious about the super strong metals used in aerospace, military tech, or even high performance sports gear, then you've probably encountered miraging steel. But what exactly is it and how is it produced? Stick around as we dive into the fascinating world of this metal right here on History of Simple Things. The word miraging is a combination of martensitic and aging, which hints at its production process. Unlike regular steel, which relies on carbon for hardness, marriaging steel is made with an extremely low carbon content, often less than 0.03%. Instead, it gains its remarkable strength from a blend of metals like nickel, cobalt, molybdenum, titanium, and aluminum. Marriaging steel is known for its incredible strength, toughness, and resistance to cracking. Despite its high strength, it remains surprisingly malleable, making it easy to machine and shape before undergoing its final hardening process. Making miraging steel isn't just about mixing a few metals together. It's a carefully controlled process that involves multiple steps each crucial for achieving the alloy's legendary properties. First, we start with raw materials, iron, nickel, and small amounts of alloying elements like cobalt, molybdenum, and titanium. These metals are melted together in a vacuum induction furnace, ensuring that the steel is free from impurities that could weaken its structure. Once melted, the molten alloy is cast into ingots and allowed to cool. At this stage, it's still relatively soft, making it easy to shape and machine into the desired forms. However, the magic hasn't happened yet. This steel needs to go through a transformation. Now comes the critical step that gives miraging steel its signature strength, the aging process. After the steel is shaped, it undergoes heat treatment at around 480-500 degrees Celsius, 900-930 degrees Fahrenheit, for several hours. This controlled heating allows small intermetallic compounds to form within the metal, significantly increasing its strength. What makes miraging steel unique is that instead of becoming brittle like other hardened steels, it retains its toughness while reaching incredibly high tensile strength. Some grades of miraging steel can reach a tensile strength of over 2,000 megapascals, MPA, far beyond conventional steels. So, why go through all this effort to make miraging steel? The answer lies in its unmatched combination of strength, toughness, and workability. Unlike carbon steels, which require complex heat treatments and can become brittle, marriaging steel offers predictable and stable mechanical properties. Another major advantage is its resistance to wear and fatigue. This makes it ideal for high-stress applications like aerospace components, missile casings, and even the high-performance gears found in race cars. Marriaging steel is used in places where failure is simply not an option. In aerospace, it's used for landing gear, rocket motor casings, and structural components that require extreme durability. The military relies on miraging steel for armored vehicles and specialty weapons. Even the world of sports has found a use for this super steel. High-end fencing swords, golf club heads, and even some bicycle components take advantage of its strength and lightweight. One surprising use, nuclear centrifuges. 
Marriaging steel's toughness and ability to be precisely machined make it an essential material for high-speed rotating equipment in uranium enrichment. As technology advances, so does the demand for stronger, lighter, and more resilient materials. Researchers are experimenting with new miraging steel alloys, pushing the limits of what this incredible material can do. By tweaking the composition and refining production techniques, engineers are developing even more durable and corrosion-resistant versions for future applications. One area of interest is 3D printing. Scientists are now working on additive manufacturing techniques that can make it easier to produce complex marriaging steel parts with minimal waste. Despite its many advantages, marriaging steel isn't perfect. One of the biggest drawbacks is its cost. The alloying elements, particularly nickel and cobalt, are expensive, making miraging steel significantly pricier than conventional steel. This limits its widespread use to applications where its superior properties justify the expense. Another challenge is its susceptibility to corrosion, especially in harsh environments. While marriaging steel is incredibly strong, it lacks the natural rust resistance of stainless steel. To combat this, engineers often apply protective coatings or use it in controlled environments where corrosion isn't a major concern. Marriaging steel might not be a household name, but its influence stretches far beyond what most people realize. From aerospace engineering to military defense and high-performance sports, this remarkable alloy plays a crucial role in shaping the modern world. Its unique combination of strength, toughness, and workability makes it an essential material in industries where reliability and durability are paramount. As technology continues to advance, the demand for superior materials like miraging steel will only grow. Whether it's in space exploration, precision manufacturing, or next-generation engineering, this unsung hero of metallurgy will keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So the next time you hear about cutting-edge materials, you'll know why marriaging steel stands among the best. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.